Hello, I like to say you're on the Sage channel, and today, as per usual, on a Thursday, we've had a nice little update come out for Space Engineers, and today's update wasn't exactly the most technological of updates, it hasn't changed the whole world, it wasn't like the sculpting tool, but it is something pretty damn cool, and that is improved damage states to all objects, basically, or at least most objects that use electricity or have a function. Basically, they've added particle effects to everything. So, if I was to go ahead and grab a hold of one of these drones over here, we're going to use the combat test drone and take control over that. And by the way, my overlay here for the camera, that's a custom thing. It's, uh, there's, if you look on my workshop, you'll find it. It's, you have to it's manually install it. But anyway, back to the actual update. It, now, if stuff takes damage, like this thruster here, if I blast away at it, once it goes down below the red mark, so if I was to fly up to it just to prove, once it's taken damage there on the right and it goes down below the red mark, it'll then actually begin producing a particle effect. So let's go ahead and grab that ship again, and I'll just show you some of the other ones on these. Combat test drone again, control, there we go. And you can see the antennas here, if I blast away at this, you can see I've nicked the ones behind it, but if we take this one down a little bit more, there we go, it starts sparking, which is actually pretty cool. You can imagine having a big array of antennas purposely down just a bit, just so they can have this really cool sparking effect. It'd be amazing if the electricity actually arced between different things. Uh, same for this guy here. Unfortunately, he took too much damage and vanished, and then we have this one here, which is gonna be difficult to blast away at without shearing the metal away. You'll see as soon as it goes red, there we go, and it sparked as well. Now, the reason I have these over here is because if you grind something down or you're building it up and it's not past that red point yet, so it's not actually functional at all, and it takes any damage, so even just a single bullet, it instantly starts sparking, which is why those started sparking when I just dicked them. Also, I found it a bit strange that these things, oh, dag nabbit, these things over here will actually begin to spark as well. There we go. And these two here, if I just blast away at them, they'll begin producing their particle effects as well, even though they don't have any power. And I did switch this over to survival once to check, and they do indeed spark. Now, you could make a very valid argument that they still function like this, because if we were to go ahead and fly up to one of these, and if we were to actually go ahead and weld this back up, you can see when you start welding, they automatically go to their actual build state that they're at, but there we go. You can access this control panel, so ideally they must have some sort of internal power to actually run the control panel, or maybe it's power from your suit, but either way you could make the argument they have a little internal battery, and that's why they spark when they're actually brought down. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop in this thing again, and show you some of the other things that they've done with particle effects here. It's mainly just those two types that you've just seen. The fact that you can have the particle effects of smoke and flame, and the electrical thing but you do have them on turrets so you can see that turret's no longer functional let's start smoking it is pretty cool though because you can imagine being in a dog fight and you're like is that turret still functioning on the top if it's still there well now you'll actually be able to see that it is indeed down uh we got these rocket launcher pod here start smoking and this computer core here which last time i did this i actually ended up blasting away there we go you can see it starts sparking and then another gravity generator just the same as the other one a few little sparks once it's gone it's pretty cool though and if you have a big ship with a lot of systems you can imagine being bombarded and all of a sudden you start seeing stuff spark all over again these things because they're at the build states one little tap is all it takes even from a handgun they start sparking and then the unpowered ones just as before they'll do the same dang thing even though they don't have power which kind of makes sense for the smoking ones. You could imagine they have a system in there that might have gone wrong, like this, especially the gun. It might have something that has caught fire. Uh, these things here, the grinders, they actually, and welders, but I actually just accidentally put two grinders down. They start smoking like this, just a black smoke, which is a bit interesting. And it's actually kind of nice for something that's not so combat heavy to just start smoking. Same for the larger finery here, which actually has a whole lot of health, so it takes me a second to blast it down. You can see more than just a second. There we go. And it starts putting out this big, huge smoke cloud. And then the same thing for this arc furnace here. It'll just start putting out, yeah, there we go, its own black cloud. And of course, I can show you guys the same thing over here just by tapping these once and they start smoking. And then once again, as I said, unpowered will still do their thing. So there you go. So you can see the smoke starting to come off that one there and those two there. Also, they have it for cockpits and stuff like that. So if we were to go ahead and blast away at this little guy here a little bit, oh, you can see for a second it started smoking. Same with this one here, a bit of smoke and same with the other cockpit there. I even found that the chairs do spark, which at first seems a bit odd and I have to fly over there using a gun, otherwise it'll just vanish in a single bullet. I did find that the chairs will spark as well, but that kind of makes sense since you can sit in them and recharge. They do have a power supply moving through them for sure. So it kind of makes sense that they would indeed have their own little sparky fields, which kind of actually looks cool. There we go. 
If it has these little sparks around it, it would almost be nice to be able to sit in that and be like, I am being recharged or something stupid like that. Uh, again, though, we do have the ones down here, which will also spark, and then the unpowered ones, which I don't think I need to show you guys again. Next thing up in this line are the reactors. So we can go ahead and grab the reactors over here, and these actually have a nice green effect. So if you've been playing for a long enough time, you might remember the background screen. In fact, it's still there, I'm pretty sure. When you load up the game, it has that background screen going. Well, there's been smoke effects shown in that, but that was super early, just test stuff. And you might have seen that reactors in that footage were giving off this sort of green haze. Well, they've put it properly into the game now and actually got it working. So you can blast away at this hefty little bugger here and it'll give off a nice green smoke. Now, I'm pretty sure this will happen even if it doesn't have uranium in it, which could be considered a bit odd. But for now, I think it's more than acceptable. And again, this happens over there to those. And I didn't even bother to show the unpowered ones because it's a reactor. And we've already proven. Now, they also added this for lights. I don't think I can just tap a light. Yeah, see, they pretty much pop like this. But they can show it for these big thrusters here. The flames that will come out of a big thruster, just like the small one. Bit interesting when I shoot that you can see it almost. I think I was just timing it to the natural smoke bursts from it. Uh, lights here, though, we can go ahead and shoot that down. Now you can see it's sparking pretty dang cool. And then let's actually go ahead and fly over there. And I can't control my character. Oh, I'm still in control of the drone that's why silly me i forgot to press uh, t i just pressed v or something like that to get back to my character uh there we go so we're gonna shoot these lights a little once there and you can see lights indeed do also spark even the small ones which is pretty cool yeah pretty dang cool and of course the same applies for their broken versions but i doubt we'll even be able to get those to spark i think they'll just yeah vanish but of course we can get those sparking like that just for a little tap in again same thing will apply over there if we were to be able to damage those there we go you can see it sparking next thing up though there is one else one or two other things to show is if we go back to that combat test drone, and by the way, these do all also work on small ships as well. It's not just large ships, but there's a new feature. When you're in a camera, you can use your scroll wheel and zoom in. And you actually see that the red dots now seem insanely large. And you can see some of the metal paneling there sort of falling away. That's an LOD issue. If we were to fly closer, the paneling fills back in. So it's just sort of trying to test light to remove polygons to help your frame rate when you get farther away. But it is pretty cool that you can now zoom in and check on stuff, help you aim guns like this if you want to aim from pretty far. It actually looks like something out of Battlestar Galactica now. Some of their like cockpit footage they'd shown or whatever. See those bullets dancing around. That's actually really dang cool, I think. And anyway, it could be even useful just for if you wanted drones strategically placed just to check up on things, to be able to use those drones to just activate them and then zoom in on check on things. Something I did find out while messing with this though is that if we fly too far away, Watch the Sage Station. There's something unfortunate that's about to happen. Let's see if you guys catch it. We'll get farther and farther away. Any second now, I think, it'll happen. Maybe it was just a fluke the one time it did happen. That's possible. Yeah, so that all looks pretty good, right? Yeah, that still all looks pretty dang good. Must have been a fluke that one time it happened. It was where the body of the Sage Station disappeared. Oh yeah, you can see the bodies of all the other components that have vanished. But you can still see the parts which if we were to turn off our HUD, it doesn't really matter because they're just tiny little dots. But I did notice that with the Sage Station, its entire outer shell had vanished at one point and I could just see the interior floors and it looked a bit odd. Pretty cool though. And as we fly closer again, this is just an LOD thing that I found kind of interesting. You can see everything pops back in, which again, that's a good thing. You wouldn't really usually notice it. It's just that the zoom allows you to zoom in farther than usually would because it usually just be tiny little dots on your screen. Now, you might be asking, why do you have all these other drones here, Sage? Is that for shooting at them to demonstrate that, yes, indeed, small ships do also have all these effects? Well, not necessarily. Uh, really, they're there to show you the drills because drills have a shaking on them now. So, well, they used to have a shaking, if you remember. So let's go to the drill test drone. Let's go ahead and grab control over that. And if you've been playing for long enough, you remember that drills, when you used to turn them on, and let's actually go ahead and grab our drill here. When you used to turn them on, you can see here the whole screen is shaking. They used to always do that. Well, semi-recently, well, at some point, I don't exactly know when, they removed that. Well, they've gone ahead and added it back in now, but they've done it as an option. So if you go into your edit world settings, you can go ahead and find it down there and toggle it on. All your old worlds will have it automatically shut off or whatever they should be set to. But any new world you create will naturally automatically have it turned on unless you go ahead and turn it off. 
So that's drills. They've added that rumbling back in. They've also gone ahead and added the same thing for grinders. So if we go ahead and stick the ship right there and we'll grab one of these grinder ships and take control over it. We can actually go ahead and grind away at this as soon as we grab our tool and you should, yeah, there you go. So you can see as it's hitting it, it's shaking our screen as well as the other one. So that's pretty dang cool. It actually is a nice effect, frankly, and I guess a lot of people must have missed it since they added it back in, or maybe they never intended to really take it out. But that's pretty dang cool. And then the last one on the show, I believe, was just the welder and the fact that I don't believe it actually has an effect. So we can go in here really quickly, once again, grab its tool, and then I believe the welder doesn't shake or anything when you weld things up, it just welds. Yeah, see, just welds. Just wanted to show that that doesn't actually do that. Uh, and one last thing, why not? Because you probably want to see it. Let's go ahead and grab that combat drone, shall we? And we'll go ahead and shoot at these other little ships here just to prove that their systems do actually smoke and burn. And that way you can actually see a bit of what an actual little ship would look like if it's taking damage. Unfortunately, these guns are so powerful, they're just tearing through pretty much everything. But you get the drift of it. The drift of it? The gist of it. Pretty cool. And that reactor, there we go. The reactor's on fire, everything is down. It adds a lot more detail to a ship as it's floating around, helpless and dead. Anyway guys, that's it for this update. It's pretty cool. Simplistic, but very interesting. It makes the world feel much more alive. It gives you a lot more visual feedback when stuff is damaged. I like it a lot. Anyway guys, thank you a bunch for watching. I hope this was informative and enjoyable to watch, and I shall see you next time.